Hello, my name is Juliana Blaylock. I'm an assay development scientist at Cayman Chemical, and today I will be presenting our work on the development and validation of a novel C-gas inhibitor screening assay. A little background on the C-gas pathway. C-gas is a cytosolic double-stranded DNA sensor involved in innate immunity. The pathway is activated by exogenous DNA from either viruses, bacteria, or tumor cells, or from endogenous DNA leaked from stress mitochondria. Binding of this DNA leads to the stable and active conformation of C-gas, which catalyzes the reaction of ATP and GTP to 2 prime 3 prime C-gamp. CGAMP then binds to and activates sting, leading to downstream signaling that triggers pro-inflammatory cytokines and type 1 interferons. Dysregulation of this pathway can lead to chronic inflammation, autoimmune disorders, and even tumor genesis. CGAS modulators are critical in maintaining immune homeostasis. To facilitate the study of C-gas modulators, we have developed a novel C-gas inhibitor screening assay that directly measures a product of the C-gas reaction. Our protein core here at Cayman Chemical was able to produce and purify active recombinant C-gas. Panel A shows a crystal structure of a C-gas dimer bound to DNA, which are the orange coils, and also the zinc binding sites, which are the red spheres. Panel B shows a cryo-EM structure of a C-gas nucleosome complex where binding of a nucleosome competitively attenuates C-gas activation during mitosis. And finally, panel C shows Cayman's purified recombinant protein. To optimize C-gas reaction conditions, cofactors and substrates were titrated individually at the concentrations indicated in the figures. Panel A shows C-GAMP production peaking at a DNA concentration of 25 molar excess compared to that of C-GAS. Panel B confirms C-GAS is a zinc metalloenzyme showing increasing C-GAMP production with increasing zinc concentration. And panel C and D show inhibition of C-GAMP production at high concentrations of magnesium or ATP and GTP. Just a quick overview of how our assay works. Step one, C-gas modulators, substrate, and enzyme are mixed together and incubated for 30 minutes. Step two, the C-gas reaction is stopped with a provided stop solution. Step three, samples from above are assayed in a competitive ELISA with C-gamp specific antiserum. Step four, after a two hour incubation, the ELISA plate is washed and developed with TMB substrate. And finally, step five, HRP stop solution is added and absorbance is read at 450 nanometers. From start to finish, the assay is completed in three hours. Due to the oligomeric nature of C-gas, specific activity is dependent on C-gas concentration. C-gas reactions were performed as described by the protocol in our kit booklet at the indicated enzyme concentrations. Specific activity was calculated using the unit definition of one picomole of C-GAMP per minute at 37C and plotted versus C-GAS concentration. We validated this assay with five C-GAS inhibitors. The data was normalized to 100% initial activity and plotted versus inhibitor concentration. IC50 values are shown in the table with the most potent inhibitor tested being G150, which tracks with literature. The sensitivity of Cayman's assay, which is in the single picomolar range, allows for detection of both potent and weak inhibitors. As is common with competitive inhibitors, we found that inhibitor efficacy depends on substrate concentration. The positive control inhibitor included in our assay, CU76, was tested with three different substrate concentrations, obtaining different IC50 values for each concentration. Because of this, it is imperative to have a tool that normalizes C-gas reaction conditions, and hence why Cayman C-gas inhibitor screening assay is so invaluable. Just to wrap everything up, Cayman's novel and new C-gas inhibitor screening assay is an easy-to-use tool that provides results in three hours. The sensitivity of the kit allows for a detection of both potent and weak modulators. And finally, with all assay components supplied and optimized, researchers only need to supply compounds for testing. I wanted to give a special thanks to Cayman's own protein core, specifically Laura Kostrava, Paul Good, Veronica Smith, and Carly Norris. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you.